Hey guys, today a really short video is about the different parts of a compass. So we'll just go through the parts of a compass here and uh, tell you all about them. There's two main parts of a compass. One is the base plate, which is this thing here. So that's the base plate. And then you have your needle housing or compass housing or just your housing. It would be the two main parts of the compass. And if we just flip it over here, and on the base plate you have one, two, three wee feet, known as compass feet or base plate feet. They're just wee grips that when you sit in your map that it doesn't slide about. So it gives you grips where you're taking bearings and working with the compass. Also on the, uh, the, on the base plate itself you have a magnifying glass, which is obviously it's really good if you're looking at really close together detail on a map or things that are hard to see in a map. Don't be ashamed to, to, to use this. To use this. It does come in handy for fine detail. The other thing that you have on this compass here is this line here. Now it's used for lining up between two points for taking bearings. And that's what you'd use this line here for. You can use the edge of the compass as well, which I like to use. Only difficulty with using the edge of the compass is at times can be the other markings is on it can obscure your uh, points that you're looking at but I prefer to use the edge of the compass anyway on the compass also you have here as you can see is the millimeter scale or centimeter scale if you want to call it and it's obviously useful for obviously scaling things and you can use it for distance and stuff as well and the other side you would have the inch scale now it's probably more suited for a lot of the older maps that would have been about then on the compass you have these wee things here. You have three different types there. These are called roamers and they're very handy for measuring distance and doing six figure grid references. So you'd have one for the 1 to 25,000 map, you'd have one for the 1 to 50,000 map and you'd have one for the 1 to 40,000 scale map. So that would be them. The also thing you'd have here, as you see there that wee arrow there even that there luminous one that would be called your direction of travel arrow so this, when you take a bearing this is the part of the compass you follow and this here is just a wee luminous one so obviously in dull light or at night that you can still see the direction of travel arrow so that's all that wee marker is there and now we'll move on to the needle housing which is this thing here and on the needle housing you have all your degrees you can see the pen moving the the needle. On the needle housing you have all your degrees and each line represents two degrees on your degree lines. The next thing is in the compass housing or the needle housing is the needle which is the wee thing there my pen's moving. So this is called your needle and then after that you have this red arrow here under the needle the one that's moving there that red arrow there that is called the housing arrow that helps align the needle for taking bearings so when you're taking a bearing obviously when you're a bearing taken you'd put your red needle into the housing arrow on this week inside the needle housing you have these lines here Going in the compass there, as you can see, they're called orientating lines, and they're for lining up on your map along your northings, and that obviously to help you take your bearing and get your bearing accurate. So you line them up with the northings that's on your map for taking bearings. Now the other thing that you'd see in the needle there, or I'm sorry, on the compass there would be sometimes you get compasses with these circle cutouts and triangular cutouts. Now, they're very useful if you go into the sport of orienteering. Now, the last wee thing I think I've already mentioned is the, lumin di the luminous dials. There's also here at the, the reading point of the compass. It's not very easy to see. There's a wee black line there. You can see it. There's a wee black line under the numbers. And through that black line and to each side of that black line from about there to there there's an all or wee luminous dial so it can help you see your reading at night what you're reading 
for your bearing is it comp and on your compass at night so obviously you can see it at night or at low, or at low, at, uh, low visibility so you can still see your bearing and follow it at night along with your other way eliminating direction of travel and that's pretty much the main parts of the compass and hopefully that's helped you get around a compass a wee bit better and let you learn a wee bit more about the compass before you start using them and um, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and have a look at some of our other videos thank you